Hello, my name is Ryan, and welcome back to Red Rum Productions. Today we will be doing a team preview for the Phoenix Suns in the 2018-2019 season. I am changing the formatting of this video slightly from the previous video to focus more on the team rather than the players. With this, I will mention all the players on the 15-man roster, but will only give details on those who I expect to see significant playing time. Because of this, this video will hopefully be shorter in length with more refined information. Moving on with the video. The Suns are coming off of a season in which they won 21 games and were the worst team in the NBA last year. However, with gaining that number one draft pick and making other draft day moves, they have gained key rookies that will help this team improve. This team is going to be coached by first time NBA head coach, and forgive me if I've pronounced this wrong all video, Igor Kokosov. His career has been a long one that has led him to becoming the first European born NBA head coach. He started at the University of Missouri as an assistant, and was an assistant in the NBA for multiple teams, winning the finals in Detroit and spending the last three years with the Jazz. He was also the head coach for Slovenia, where he coached Luka Doncic and led that team to winning Eurobasket 2017, the national team championship in Europe. He has a record of success and has been praised by the media, players, and other coaches for being a great developmental coach. He will be bringing a creative European style of basketball to Phoenix, which hopefully will help lead this team to the playoffs for the first time since 2010. The starting lineup for this team is expected to be Brandon Knight and Devin Booker in the backcourt, TJ Warren and Josh Jackson as forwards, and first overall pick DeAndre Ayton starting at center. Trevor Ariza is likely to start a few games here and there, but I expect him to see him more as a sixth man for this team. The point guard position is undeniably the weakest position for Phoenix. Brandon Knight is coming off a season where he played no games because of a torn ACL in his left knee. In the last season he played in, which was the 2016-17 season, Knight scored 11 points and had 2 assists a game. I expect the amount of points to stay around the same, but his assist numbers to grow as he passes to the many scorers on this roster. Devin Booker is one of the most exciting young players in the game today. He has insane playmaking ability, including dropping 60 points on the Celtics last season. He scored 25 points a game last season as only a 21-year-old, while also having 5 assists a game and has been improving every year. He should continue to improve and be the leader for this offense. 24-year-old TJ Warren is coming off of a great season as well, scoring nearly 20 points a game as the second option. Warren is the second strongest shooter on this team, having a fantastic mid-range shot, but needing to improve from three-point range. Like Devin Booker, Warren has been improving every year of his career. He will be an important third option this year, as DeAndre Ayton is likely to receive a lot of attention in the Suns' offensive scheme. Josh Jackson, coming off of his second team all-rookie season, is another one of the Suns' young pieces. Not a huge threat from deep. He still has a decent mid-range game and is great at getting to the basket and finishing. Being compared to greats such as David Robertson and Patrick Ewing, DeAndre Ayton has high hopes coming out of Arizona for this team. He has insane potential, being incredibly athletic and standing at 7'1 with the wingspan of 7'6. He is expected to make an impact right away on this team, and I think will be the rookie of the year this season. As mentioned before, I see Trevor Ariza to be the sixth man for this team providing veteran leadership from the bench. He will be able to provide a scoring threat from deep, something that the starting forwards from the Suns do not reliably have. Guards coming off the bench are Troy Daniels, Eli Okobo, and the recently signed Isaiah Cannon. Troy Daniels will be a much needed backup to Devin Booker. He will be able to provide more three-point scoring for this team, shooting 40% from behind the three-point line last season. Eli Okobo is who I expect to be the backup point guard to Brandon Knight. Okobo is a 20-year-old rookie coming from France, who under coach Kukuzov could develop into a long-term starter that the Suns need. Forwards coming off the bench are Mikhail Bridges, Marquise Chris, and Dragan Bender. Mikhail Bridges is another one of the Suns rookies, taken with the 10th pick of the most recent draft. He was great in college for three years, winning two national championships, and improved every year, earning himself the Julius Irving Award last season, the award for the best college small forward. He shot 44% from three-point range in his final college season, albeit from a shorter three-point line. He will likely be the second forward coming off the bench after Trevor Ariza. 
Marquise Chris and Dragon Bender will both see similar roles this season, each getting about 10 minutes a game. They will likely see time in the second quarters of games and in garbage time at the end. The backup centers for this team are Tyson Chandler and Rishon Holmes. Another veteran on this team, Chandler will have the job of coming off the bench when DeAndre Ayton needs a rest. Moving on to this team's overall performance. Westgate has the Suns over under for their win total to be 29.5 this season. I think this is criminally underrating this team, and I expect them to be competing for a playoff spot, not being a cellar dweller again in the West. The West is incredibly strong, but I have had the opinion for the past few months that the Suns will make the playoffs in either the 7th or the 8th seed. I think Devin Booker is a legitimate superstar in the making, and DeAndre Ayton will be a top 10 big in the league this season. Of course, this team's ultimate goal is not to just make the playoffs, they want to win championships, and this team is set up for long-term success with so many young players with high potential. Anyways, thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like the video and comment your opinion. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel as the next video will be over my hometown team, the Houston Rockets. Once again, thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.